Howdy, 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 my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading, Cancer, for July. All right, darling? And if you enjoy this weekly tarot reading here today, Cancer, I'll let you in on a secret, darling. Click up here, darling, and you'll be taken to the link to your monthly tarot reading, all right? And be sure to check that out and give it some love. And let me know in the comments below, Cancer, how my tarot readings help you out, darling. All right, that's how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, as well as I like to hear, out, uh, hear how y'all are doing, all right? Uh, now, Cancer, all right, if you do enjoy my tarot readings and you want a completely free way to support me darling it helps me out a lot if you were to give this video a like and subscribe i really appreciate those who take the extra step to do that for me because it helps me out more than you ever possibly could know but anyways cancer let's get into your tarot reading this week remember when it comes to consuming tarot readings on youtube today cancer consume more than just your one zodiac sign consume your sun moon rising as well as your venus sign but uh cancer today we're going to get into three rows for you the first row is going to be covering over your financial situation and your career today all right and then in your third row we're going to be tapping into some relationship in your life all right your social life so this could be a romantic relationship platonic this could even be someone in the in the workplace or family darling all right it's your social life and then in your third row which is my personal favorite cancer we're going to be getting into your general tarot predictions here this is where we see what's going to be happening for you the predictions that i make and also having a better understanding with where your path is currently going all right if you ever are trying to understand like where spirit is taking you this is the row for you darling okay so let's get right into this here today uh my beautiful cancer all right with the king of pentacles in the back of the deck for you guys here y'all are taking control here uh cancer all right i see for many of you guys here y'all have really started something that's going to build up to something magnificent it might start out as small so as an example for you cancer some of you guys might have start making your health a priority started working out it's going to be something that's cumulative so it's like each day that goes by it like doubles or like builds up in that way all right so kind of like when you work out or what have you but i feel like it expounds more than just like the surface level of where it's like you feel better about yourself but it's like what you are building um opens up so many doors for you in a career aspect i would translate this in a place of where opening the door for personal self-employment if that's what you're looking for uh, others of you just like a lot more stability when it comes to your finances taking more control of you know your bills and what have you here in a social type of dynamic here for you uh cancer i see you taking a stand all right demanding respect out of people that have been disrespecting you under appreciating you you speaking your truth and actually following up with action as well some of you guys cancer are laying down the law with that situation here but overall i just see you guys really uh it's like what you do this week uh cancer sets you up for the rest of your life is how i see this as. so let's get into your rose this week here starting out with your career <clears throat> So Cancer, we have the King as well as Ace of Swords coming in here with the Seven of Cups. All right. Now for your career, I really get this sense for you, Cancer, where y'all are sitting on a really positive idea here, but you're not giving yourself enough credit. All right. It's like you have the opportunity to... Um, you know let's say you have the opportunity to work your nine to five job but then also have like a side business on the side all right or you have the opportunity of the job that you're working at right maybe you just started working at like the front desk but i see the opportunity for you cancer to really scale that from working the front desk to then being like the manager or like this you know you know it's like building up in the ranks or like the ceo just to speak in grandiosity right so you under have, have a better understanding where it's like you start out as a janitor or working the front desk and then you go up in the ranks in that way again it's like this sense of cumulative here all right if you've been having the idea cancer of starting to make more time towards building like a new stream of revenue from a project here it's gonna be cumulative where it starts out you know small payouts but it's like each day that goes by it builds up quicker and quicker and quicker for you i'm being shown your card um in my head right now which is the chariot for you so yeah it's for you cancer like a lot of positive things positive potentials will say for you cancer when it comes to your career and financial situation all right there's there's no glass ceiling or there's no ceiling for you like there's no limit for you for what it is that you do but you have to really uh challenge your mindset challenge your current perspective of what it is that you think you're capable of 
all right some of you guys are getting a little bit too spooked out from the unfamiliarity of it that you almost obsess over uh cancer this sense of perfectionism where you are trying to get all the information possible so when you take a step into this new territory you already know everything about it but that's just not the reality the best way to learn cancer is by just throwing yourself in the middle of it right i always like to use myself as an example because <laughs> it's the easiest honestly that most people can understand but it's the sense where it's like when i first started doing this i didn't know how to run a business corp uh cancer i didn't know how to run a business i didn't know how to do video i, I didn't know how to do any of this you learn this on the fly you learn as you go uh cancer i always like to remind people it's like just because something's not your best doesn't mean it's not deserving of being put out there or deserving of being seen all right so remember that uh cancer it doesn't always have to be your very best before you do something all right now getting into your social uh row now my beautiful cancer you have the three of pentacles hierophant energy with the wheel of fortune coming in here this is developments of somebody um wanting to build like uh how would i put this for you cancer it's like someone has the desire into uh changing the dynamic of your current relationship with them cancer all right it's this desire for them where you could see this in a positive or negative way here cancer all right so i'll to let you know which way that you'll know it's for you if you're noticing for example someone in your life that you that's been a friend for a long time now uh starting to just drop a little bit you know being a little bit more flirtatious in their ways or maybe like a family member that's like suddenly making more uh, of an effort to contact you talk to you cancer all right it's because you, it's not like you're crazy and over reading this situation but it literally is because cancer that they have this interest in working on this relationship with you and to build off of it more all right to develop it to develop it more than what it currently is now on the flip side uh cancer we have to acknowledge this because the wheel of fortune can be turned in in either way darling all right i like how the rainbows from my window is starting to come out now but it's like on the flip side of this if you're noticing uh cancer someone's starting to distance themselves or the you know you maybe can't even put words to it cancer but it's like you know that the vibes are off right you don't know you know what happened or whatever but you can tell the vibes are off all right you're not in your head about it all right there's there is something's going on uh uh internally with people in their headspace or maybe they're having conversations without you uh cancer but there is this you are part of some conversation of changing the dynamic of your relationship with them all right now for your tarot predictions darling all right you have the hermit emperor as well as eight of pentacles coming in here going up in the ranks darling all right going up in the ranks eight of pentacles again is a message of like promotion so as i said going back to your career uh here cancer um i see very strong opportunity for those that want to go higher in the workplace rather than just working like the desk front desk or what have you that being a reality for you uh cancer the only thing that's stopping you is your uh, perception of yourself all right with that emperor all right you're to have the emperor and the hermit energy together like this you you have to give yourself more credit for the work that you've been doing cancer all right i see you being very educated and in, a, in your own way being very empowered with what it is that you do all right but i get this sense where you struggle with this idea of or struggle with the struggle with getting your head out of the book and then looking in the mirror and seeing what it is that you've developed from uh spent doing the work that's what it that's how i would put this cancer it's like you've been doing so much personal work that you haven't taken a moment to step back cancer and be like wait a minute like and really reflect and appreciate the work that you have done it's like you're just so used to constantly self-reflecting analyzing and um just in that place uh cancer that it's like it's so hard for you to give yourself credit so that's like i want to just ask you uh cancer when's the last time that you've given yourself credit when's the last time someone has celebrated you and honestly just boosted up your own ego when's the last time someone's talked about how great and fabulous you are all right because that's what you really need is like this boost of an ego uh uh cancer so you realize just like how far you've actually come how much work you've actually put into yourself cancer all right and it's through you doing that that's what opens up more doors for you all right 
So let's start getting into some clarif- Ooh, girl. <laughs> let's start getting into some clarifiers. Starting with your first row here, Cancer, with your career, is the, uh, reminding you it's the Seven of Cups, King of Swords with the Ace as well. So we have the World card that tried to come out, that tried to run away, darling. The Ace of Wands with the Five of Cups coming in here. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles coming in here in the back of the deck. I like this energy a lot. A couple Aces coming in here with all three Aces just in one row. You know, uh, as a tarot reader, Cancer, when you see more than one ace together like that, as a tarot reader, you kind of perceive this as being like the spirit uh, giving you the green light, the go ahead to do something, taking action. And so in the regards with the ace of pentacles, with the ace of swords here, uh, Cancer, this is like the go ahead with uh following through or pursuing some creative idea cancer because it's going to be extremely profitable all right but it's something that's only that you've been sitting with in your head here it's, it hasn't fully manifested into anything physical and then with the ace of wands here as well this lets you know if it's like a passion project allowing your passion to lead you more than just uh the logistic side right because that's well that's is what will stop most people from really uh creating something for themselves is because it's like they don't want to follow through with the passion because they think they don't want to come off as like the starving artist right so with this world energy here and the five of cups stepping forward as well for you stop being afraid of the obstacles that will inevitably happen to you cancer all right i'm not going to sell like this fairy tale like reality is honey especially if you're trying to start a business especially if you're trying to create something of your own to create further financial abundance in your life cancer you're going to deal with bumps on the road that's just the reality it doesn't speak of you any less of a person like you having complications happen in your life has nothing to do with your character it's how you handle those complications as they come that that speaks about your character everyone's gonna have hiccups uh cancer all right absolutely absolutely everybody so stop obsessing over learning all the like getting all the knowledge before you take action the best teacher is life experiences themselves here all right accept the fact that you're going to deal with the bumps on the road and also accept the fact that you dealt with 500 bumps on the road up until this point cancer so why are you so afraid why are you so intimidated by the future bumps on the road when you already have done how many how old are you cancer all right i already know my from my analytics most of the, most of my friends here uh like i think 80 percent no actually i don't i don't have anyone younger than like 20 i believe that watches my channel so it's just like i don't know cancer for me it just seems so illogical to have this mindset that some of y'all are having like it's kind of irritating me it's making me mad because i'm just like cancer like i just want to shake you because i'm just like man like you can do so much why are you why are you doubting yourself is it because there was is there like shame associated that was developed from before when you feel good about yourself i don't know Let's get into clarifying your second row, your social life, with the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Pentacles, and Hierophant. King of Wands stepping in here, Knave of Pentacles coming in, with the Lovers stepping forward, Cancer. Back of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles coming in here. Uh, uh, this is interesting. Yeah, someone's definitely about to be bearing their all to you, bearing their heart out to you, Cancer, all right? Someone's gonna be, it's like, and this is something that didn't happen overnight. This is literally someone having like strong feelings for you and eventually just having the courage and speaking up about it, Cancer. All right. Someone's been really sitting in there. And I, based off of this dynamic here, uh, Cancer, I see this more in a positive way. It's like someone's bearing their heart, bearing their heart and emotions out to you. What I really want to be pointing out here is this is what they're going to be encapsulating, right? You'll notice in the artwork of this is where it's like, this woman has her heart it's not her heart but it's a heart leaving it out exposed here honestly now that i'm looking at this closer uh cancer i'm pretty sure that she's doing a sacrifice but um we'll move on from that like we'll just continue we'll just ignore this aspect here <laughs> this, this is the necronomicon deck for you darling all right but it's a sense of someone bearing their emotions out to you but again this is something that's been going on for a little bit here all right from their from their point of view it's like they've been dropping signs uh here and there and eventually just gets to the point of where they speak out king of wands with the hope of being this dynamic here again necronomicon deck darling i'm not saying you're gonna be married to a lizard honey or if you're the lizard i'm not saying you're gonna marry a white woman honey <laughs> but um you get the point 
Cancer, all right? Someone's going to be confessing some true feelings to you, darling, all right? Some honest feelings here. And again, I see for... Because not everything's about love, Cancer, all right? So obviously, in the literal sense, you take this as love, right? But, you know, you can bear your... I've, uh, I've like, confessed my love to friends, you know? Uh, like, where I want to be closer with certain individuals, you know? So don't don't immediately just think it's just about, like, love, all right? I don't like to make my re readings just about romance because it's like we have enough of those readings out there. And plus, not everyone cares about love, all right? Clarifying your tarot... Uh, your tarot as if we haven't been doing that clarifying your third row here your predictions hermit emperor and eight of pentacles we have the four of wands seven of wands here back of the deck or not rather uh ace of pentacles rather and then back of the deck ten of cups coming in here all uh, right yes definitely i do see for you guys here cancer i mean this is really just hyper focusing in on current like things developing to a very beautiful level all right and a social aspect here you're about to be getting you're y'all are about to be having someone confess some feelings to you and hopes to be your friend and hopes to for some of you guys again darling being this lizard white woman lover honey okay um but it's definitely this it's definitely someone that has been biding their time all right in terms of career in terms of work all right the four of wands re is represented by the 1111 all right being on your correct path here seven of pentacles coming in here is the, your card of nurturing planting proper seeds and having them blossom all right i see for your work here again it's the sense of investment if you were to follow through with that this ace energy darling right if you were to follow through with that be very profitable again it's that this is literally the epitome of the cumulative and it's meant to be on your path here right you, you wouldn't be straying away because not only one would it be profitable right but two the four of wands only shows up in your path cancer when you are on your right path all right so uh honor honor these things more cancer all right don't be so uh don't be playing it so safe. All right, let's get into your uh, moon oracle cards this week, Cancer, to wrap up your weekly tarot reading today. You have the first quarter moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks, Cancer. Release your blocks. I don't know if we need to even... Do we need to talk about this, Cancer? Because I feel like I've just been running my mouth about this this entire time, right? This is this is what I was just talking about that was pissing me off, honey. And then we get this card, okay? Thank you. This Let's... <laughs> <laughs> it lets you me know that your spirit guides are on my side here talk less feel more last quarter moon in pisces kind of seems counterproductive when you tell a cancer to uh talk less and feel more or something i feel like a cancer needs to always constantly express themselves here all right <clears throat> And then we have the new moon in Scorpio going deeper. Come on, water signs coming in here for you. Go deeper here. So essentially what I would be saying for you, Cancer, is that the people, the person that you've been noticing acting different, that you have an idea that like they want to say something or what have you, uh, provide the uh, opportunity for them to. Because for them with that King of Wands, it, it's taking a lot of courage for them to build up to the point of being like, hey, like expressing what it is that they want from you or expressing their feelings to you about whatever this is. So make it easier for them. All right. Um, and then you'll note like they'll, they will speak up. But that's what I got for you this week here, uh, Cancer. Hopefully this tarot reading uh, helped you out on some level. If it did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Check out the, your monthly tarot reading right here, darling. Um, but as well, Cancer, if you want to book a private reading with me, my website's linked down below, always simply welcome. Dot com next to my social medias if you'd like to connect with me on a more intimate level cancer they uh my uh, instagram and tiktok are just simply velka same as here but until next time my beautiful cancers i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future love you so much darling bye